Hi, my name is Teresa. I am both a police dispatcher and telecommunicator for Ramsey County. I've been here for a little over five years now, and I've had several memorable calls, one of which I can really tell you about is uh, there was a call a few years ago from an area in St. Paul, and it was about three people who had been brutally murdered. And the caller's voice always stayed with me, and, he, and the panic and the concern for his family members always stuck with me. And we couldn't find, the police couldn't find who did it for a very long time. And it, it actually pained me because I felt bad, so bad for this family losing their parents and their siblings. And um, it just, it always stayed with me in my prayers and I, I kept hoping for the best. And it was to my joy that this last spring they finally caught the people that were involved in that. And that was such a blessing for me and it was just such an answered hope for those families especially since I remember hearing what they sounded like at the time of their crisis. The importance of staying on the line is so that we can gain information about who was involved, what happened, what kind of help is needed. If someone's injured, we need to know how they're injured so that we can send we can pre best prepare the help that's on the way to them. We can also uh, give medical instructions such as how to treat a gunshot wound uh, temporarily until the medics arrive there. Uh, we can also assess what's going on as far as who was involved. When we have the descriptions and the names of who was involved, it helps the police officers who are driving to the call to look down the street and go, hey, that person looks a lot like this description. Maybe this person is who we're looking for. Because many times the people that are involved don't stay put for the police. And we wouldn't expect people that have committed a serious crime to stay put for the police. So having those descriptions best helps us. Sometimes what also helps by staying on the line is we can help calm you down. You're gonna have to go through a huge process of talking to officers and depending on the level of crime, you may have to talk to attorneys in the long run. So getting you to calm down is going to best help you relay the information on what just happened to the other people around you. The biggest chore for us is to get the parent on the phone because we want to know that the kid is okay. We're going to send out police no matter what, if, unless we can get that parent on the phone. And oftentimes what'll happen is you'll get seven, eight year, year old pranking 911 thinking it's funny. And before you know it, you're sending out the police because the, what they've just told you isn't really funny in the long run. And um, it's always interesting to listen to the parents' reactions, <laughs> to, to say the least. Uh, some parents, are kind of dismissive and they'll just say oh no there's no problem here and other parents are like they did what and uh, you you definitely get to see the the differences in parenting styles from that aspect above all cell phones are not toys for little kids uh, even if it's shut off a, a, a cell phone that may only have a battery in it so it lights up when you press the buttons can still call 911 and they use the resources for everybody else that's also trying to call 911 and then we have to figure out are we talking to a nine month old or a person who can't breathe or can't communicate with what's going on so as cute as it is to give the kids phones please don't <laughs> or if you're going to do so just take the battery out What I absolutely love about my job is I get to help people and it is the probably the toughest job on the face of the earth as far as helping people. You have to figure out what's going on and keep yourself calm, help calm down the other person, figure out what resources they need, figure out how you're going to get them those resources and how you're going to keep the officers and medic personnel safe while you're doing so. That hell has to be done in a period of two to five minutes and it is the most intense job but you get the joy of knowing that the person that you've just helped 
whether it be the officer that's calling for help on the radio, or it's the person that's been hurt, or it's a person who's off their medications and needs uh, some, some psychological support, or it's the domestic abuse victim who's on the line with you, worried about her safety and you're talking her through it, keeping her calm, you're helping them in the best way that you can. It's always frustrating that you can't just jump through the line and do something, but what you're doing is so much more important because you're, you're the starting point for all the other help that they're gonna get down the road. And by doing your job right, you're helping them get the right help that they need. I'm Teresa and I'm a telecommunicator, police dispatcher for Ramsey County.